Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are testing out some Dior makeup. This is their Fix It 2-in-1 Primer and Concealer. It is for use on your face, eyes, and lips. You get 3.5 grams in a box and it retails for 45 Canadian dollars. There's a look at the ingredients and the, the QR code. This is made in France. Out of the box, it comes in one of their lipstick type tubes. And it is the type that's got the color corrector on the outside and the primer looking stuff on the inside. They say on Sephora's website that it reduces the look of pores and fine lines, corrects pigment imperfections for a flawlessly even complexion, apply it around the eye to high dark circles and smooth skin texture, and then uh, for the lips it evens out lip color, fills in grooves for optimal lipstick hold and color impact. I have the color 001 light beige. And they have about six colors. It's not a very good color range. They also make it in a color corrector form if you're interested in more color correcting rather than concealing. So to test this today, I'm going to be applying it to half of my face, applying the rest of my makeup as normal, and then we'll see if it's done anything impressive. Let me get started. I'll show you how application goes. I'm going to apply it kind of in my T-zone. And my pory areas, my chin, and nose. I'm just going to use my fingers to blend that in. I have washed and moisturized, but I'm not obviously wearing any primer or makeup yet. It's very creamy feeling. And, I mean, it doesn't feel particularly silicone-y. Blends in very easily. And I would say the coverage is pretty minimal. I'm not too sure if you'll be able to see it on camera, but in real life, this side of my face, the one that does have the primer, does look slightly, like, filled in. You can see, especially comparing my cheeks together, it does look slightly more filled in and smooth. Same on the chin as well. To finish up my face here, I'm gonna be applying some Tarte Powder Foundation. This is the Tarte Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation. I'm gonna start, start on the unprimed side here. All right, and then we can move to the primed side. It definitely does feel primed. It definitely feels um, a little more slick and the brush kind of glides over the skin a little bit easier on this side. And if I try to use this as a actual concealer, let's try to cover up this spot here. I would say coverage wise, once you start um, blending it, it kind of disappears. So if you're trying to conceal redness around your face, this might work. If you're trying to conceal an actual zit, it's not gonna work so well. On the other side of my face, I'm actually going to apply some of my regular under eye concealer, which is the Milk Flex. I'm gonna put shape tape on my zit on this side. and I'm going to pack this on as an eyeshadow primer. On the other side of my face, I'm not gonna actually use any eyeshadow primer, so we can really see what kind of a difference it made. I do like the uh, packaging a lot. I think it's very elegant, very easy to use. It's nice that it's the concealer and primer for your eyes. It kind of makes everything a little bit faster to apply. And on my eyes today, I'm just going to go in on top the really kind of messy, smoky eye. Okay, my base is done. My eyes are done. I'm going to set with a powder. Today, I'm using my Base of May Violet Translucent Setting Powder. 
And finally, let's do lipstick. So I'm just gonna reapply a little bit of the base. And of course, I'm gonna wear my Dior Rouge 999 lipstick. Should probably use a mirror. On the lips, there's really no difference in color or anything. Just maybe feels a little bit more slick on the side that's got the primer. From far away, I think everything looks pretty much exactly the same. I think I got a little bit better under eye coverage with my regular concealer, under eye concealer. I think my pores up close maybe do look slightly uh, more smoothed out on the side with the primer, which is pretty cool. Um, and overall coverage, I don't know, I say it looks pretty even. All that's left to do today is to wear test this for the next 12 hours and see if both sides of my face hold up the same way. So let's get started. Alright, here we are at the end of the night, and I have to say, I powdered at 4 o'clock, um, the rest of the day I felt fine, it's super hot here, but uh, I think everything wore pretty well. Looking at the two sides of my face, I think by now my pores pretty much look the same on either side, the foundation seems to have sat about the same on either side. You can definitely tell there's a bunch of creasing on the side without the primer, whereas on the side with the primer, there's virtually no creasing. Maybe a tiny bit. That also might just be a vein versus a clear line on this side. Definitely, it did something. On my lips, I couldn't really tell a difference either way, but I guess if you wear a lot of makeup, where you would like to conceal your lips before you applied your own lipstick, I think this would be a good choice. Let me blot and see if we can see any difference. I'm looking at the papers, I actually think the side without the primer is slightly less greasy than the side with the primer based on a very scientific oil test, which is a little bit surprising as well because like my bangs sit on this side, so you think they would maybe be a little bit more greasy by the end of the day. For acne coverage, obviously the shape tape ended up wearing a little bit better for covering up redness. Not that the Dior really did that great at all for covering up that spot. I do really love the packaging, but I think for application it's really easy, it's really creamy aside from the fact that it picks up on texture really easily if you're even a little bit dry, that's a little bit concerning. Um, and the fact that it makes you a little bit greasy, so I'd say this is really for like a normal skin type, not too oily, not too dry, maybe if you already have perfect skin. I would say this works really well as a pore filling primer. I felt like when I originally applied it, my pores and skin did look slightly smoothed out. For a concealer, I would say it's like a no-go. It doesn't hurt, of course, when you're applying it as a primer to have a little bit of extra coverage in those areas. I think that makes sense. But if you're spot concealing, like it's definitely, you're definitely gonna want something else. As an eye primer, I think it worked perfectly well. I like that it gives you a tiny little bit of coverage and clearly it does help prevent creasing and helps your eye makeup last really longer. I even think eyeliner looks slightly darker on the side that does have it compared to the side that doesn't have it. I don't know if that's in my head, but I think it's a really great eye primer. And as a lip primer, I mean, I guess if you're going to an event and uh, you're not gonna be wearing a lipstick all day, it would maybe make sense to apply this. But like, I don't really use a lip primer. I don't really conceal my natural lips. I don't feel like it really suits my lifestyle, but I mean, if it works for you, maybe it works for you. Of course, you know I'm gonna say the major downside to this <laughs> is the price. $45, you get 3.5 grams or 0.12 ounces. Compare that to this Pore Professional. This is a 3 mil tube or 0.1 ounces. I mean, you get a little bit more product than a little sample size of 
like professional. So you're really not getting a ton of product. This is another primer that I find actually works for me. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin and this was like what 10 or 12 dollars and this is 20 mils of product so I mean bang for your buck this one's not the best. I do feel like it filled in my pores which is the first time I can really say that about a primer even other pore filling primers I felt like I could really see a difference but um, it didn't help with oil control it didn't really provide a ton of coverage. I do like it I will confess but definitely not HG and definitely not a repurchase from me. I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 5 which is pretty high Obviously the cost is super not great, but I think it's a very versatile tool. I like that they market it to do a bunch of different things. I think that's really smart. Would I recommend that you try it? I mean, maybe. If it sounds like it might be the product for you and you want something really pore filling with maybe the super lightest touch of coverage, then I'd say, yeah, give it a go. I obviously wouldn't recommend this just as an eyeshadow primer. I definitely think there's cheaper alternatives. My favorite right now is the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. This thing works incredibly well. This was another free sample of 4 mil tube and it's lasted me like a year, I swear. But yeah, enough from me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Dior Fix It 2-in-1 primer and conceal for face, eyes, and lips. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you'd like to see new beauty videos from me. I make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Huge shout out to my patrons who help make these videos possible. I really appreciate all your support. I appreciate you for watching, and I will see you all again in my next beauty video. Farewell for now.